but something happened um last friday hey guys so in today's video we're going to be talking about something that is happening as we speak and i would really love to know your thoughts on it because it's quite an interesting one we are going to be talking about the amas which is the african movie academy awards the african movie academy awards popularly known as amaas or the ama awards are presented annually to recognize excellence among professionals working in or non-African professionals who have contributed to the African film industries. It was funded by the late piece Nyinyam Si Osigwe and it is run through the Africa Film Academy. Now, it happens every year, but this particular year has brought a lot of controversies which we are going to delve into now. So for this year's awards, I've already published a video where I speak about some of the nominations, especially the Ghanaian nominations, because as you know, I'm based in Ghana. So I definitely like to delve into the Ghanaian nominations. The 2024 AMA Awards was hosted by Jocelyn Duma, who is a Ghanaian actress and media personality, and Shegu Arense, who is a renowned Nigerian actor. So we had a Ghanaian filmmaker whose film Letters to Godo got a number of nominations and thankfully on the 2nd of November in Lagos he won the best debut feature film by a director. We also saw the likes of Jackie Appiah who was nominated as best actress in a leading role taking that award and she looked resplendent in her beautiful attire for the night. The hosts for the program were a Ghanaian and a Nigerian and it's quite interesting that today's topic is all about the fact that some Ghanaian film industry bigwigs who were supposed to be at the award unfortunately did not get to be there. Now why didn't they get to be there because they were sent some flight information which unfortunately was not found and they were asked on the spot. And I mean on the spot, that was on Friday morning when they were departing to Nigeria. They were asked on the spot to buy their tickets in order to fly to Nigeria. Gloria Safo is a remarkable Ghanaian actress who was among these individuals who unfortunately did not get to be a part or were embarrassed, I would say, because guys, this is quite i want this video to flow as organically as possible now just thinking about it having to pack your bags prepare get an outfit and every other thing that she mentioned in the video go to the airport and unfortunately you are told that you do not get a pass to go on the flight and that the flight is about to depart guys it was such an emotional live a couple of hours ago she went live on her instagram and she detailed the experience so um it's about time we set some records straight you know um um so this month or towards the end of last month to you know where we are now i had this i had series of um engagements i had a lot I had a movie premiere. I have a uh, movie set. Um, I had, um, if, if I remember correctly, I had a movie set and then a short film to do. And um, I also had to travel to the UK. And also I had an award in Ghana, Women's Choice Awards on the 1st. And I also had a movie premiere um, yesterday. Okay, so this is it. First of all, I I must um, pay um, you know um, homage and tribute to um, the the um, CEO or the former or the late uh, Madame Peace who. Um, who actually started the AMA Awards. Okay. Um, may his soul rest in perfect peace. And, I mean, I must also commend the, the organizers of AMA Awards for a great job done over the years. They've been in the system for, this is their 20th year, and I must commend them you know, for sticking, sticking with us and for doing this for Africa. I mean, that's, 
that's highly commendable all right so kudos to organizers for 20 years of rewarding and celebrating filmmakers across africa but something happened um last friday so like i said i had a lot of things to do but you know as as an actor as 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 a person i mean you always need to upgrade yourself right yeah so um i had all of these um, engagements lined up yet i was I was invited by AMA Awards to present an award. I wasn't nominated. Let's note that. I wasn't nominated, but I was invited, um, you know, for the awards because it's the, it's the 20th to present an award. Okay. So from the beginning, right, I've heard a um, series of, you know, um, incidents about AMA Awards over the years. And so I kept asking the Ghana, um, the Ghanaian representative, if, I mean, she was, she was sure about, you know, uh, the attendance, if, if she was sure that, you know, um, I was going to be a part of it because I had, I had things to do. But, you know, I needed to upgrade myself. I thought, honestly, that going for the AMA Awards is going to be, it was going to be my very first, my first. Even the AMVCA that I was nominated, I wasn't able to go because of COVID, right? So um, I, I said, oh, why not? I mean, it's been a while. I've been planning to go to Nigeria. I'm planning with my team already, though, just that the time is not out, um, up yet. So when AMA came, I was like, okay, let me just go and then you know see how i can build relationships network link up and then i can plan personally and go right so when it came i kept i kept asking i kept confirming are we sure of this are we sure of this and the the response was always yes 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 is it an all expense a paid trip and they kept answering yes 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 is it an all expense paid trip is it an all expense paid trip i kept asking almost every three days almost every day and the result was i mean the response was yes it is okay so I mean, I won't even talk about the fact, I mean, how I prepared myself, how I had to go through a lot to prepare myself for the event. I won't even talk about that. I mean, the money spent, you know, preparing your dress, you know, your outfits. It was about two or three events, you know, in all preparing all of that and going through all the sleepless nights because I was, I was also filming. So I was doing everything, you know, together. So apart from all of that. The time came for us to go on the um, 30th. That was, was it 31st? No, 31st. That was, um, on the 1st, that was Friday. Okay. So, um, we were sent, we, we kept asking about our itinerary, our travel, travel itinerary, our flight itinerary. And, oh, well, they kept giving us excuses and all that and all that. So, lo and behold, I think a day or so before, um, it came, and so it was confirmed that we were going. That was on Thursday night, I think. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, like that Thursday night, I slept around 3 a.m. I just had a nap, like an, an hour nap, and woke up around 4, 4.30 to rush to the airport because um, um, check-in starts, I mean, according to the itinerary, check-in starts from five. So um, I had to rush to the airport. I got to the airport and then I realized that, I mean, some of our, our stars, I mean, my colleagues, my colleagues, some, some our legends, I mean, our big, big legends, Akofa Ejiani, Akofa Esiedu, 
sorry, sis, Akofa Ejeni. Okay, so Akofa was there, and our our movie producers talk about Abdul Salam, Abdul Salam, Mumuni. Ha, huh. Salam was there. Julia Pia of Home Sweet Home Reveal Films was there. Jackie Apia, Samira Yakubu, um, Kalsum Sinari, Kobi Rana, Dorin Avio, name it, name, like Edine Ba, I will just mention them. So, okay, we were, we just, we had to go through the, all the uh, traveling formalities and all that. And then they checked on, our, um, they checked our names, our names were, yes, okay. Yeah, so bring your passports. We provided our passports and all that. And then all of a sudden, yes, see engine and We were asked to 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 you know wait for a while while they check on whatever some pros procedures or processes. I said, okay, that's fine. We were there. We were, we stood there for hours. Still checking was almost up. And we were still standing there, trying to call the representative back and forth. Some called the, some were calling the Nigerian, you know, um, people they knew, those they knew were part of the organizers and all that. And still there was no communication whatsoever. And then the news broke that um, the flight is almost taking off. And so if we would be considered, then we had to, um, we, ha we, yeah, I mean, we have to, if you are ready, if you can afford to pay for your tickets, then you pay for your tickets and go to Nigeria. Hello. I was preparing to go to Nigeria, but at my own pace, like I said, I was planning with my team to go to Nigeria because I had projects. I had, you know, some conversations over there. So it is not your timing that will make me buy tickets that I'm not prepared to buy. Not that none of us could buy tickets to go to Nigeria. No, we could buy tickets. But you see, if you invite me for an event and tell me that it's an all expense paid trip, and send me a ticket, a, 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 a flight itinerary to confirm that I'm on the flight. And then I get to the airport and it's a different story altogether. Like, who does that? Who does that? Honestly, who does that? I don't know where the problem is coming from. But I am just here to set the record straight that enough is enough. We've had these experiences over the years. Most of our people over the years have complained. Well, before I even continue, well, congratulations to Harry Bento for winning Best Director. And congratulations to Jackie Appiah for winning Best Leading Actress. Congrats. All right. But then again, back to what I was saying. So, it's either you buy your own ticket and go to Nigeria, or you're not going at all. I think that should have been communicated earlier. That should have been communicated. Don't you think? That should have been communicated. Because you can't just send me a fake flight itinerary, and then I get to the airport and I cannot fly. Like, whatever I have planned for the event, I can't do it. Who does that? Like, I can't go for the event. Who does that? I mean, forgetting everything that we went through. Everything. My dear, come and see us at the airport. Stranded and embarrassed. Who does that? Like I said, let me mention again, it's not like none of us could afford our, our tickets. We could have. But you can't invite me and tell me 
that is an all expense paid trip and then pay uh, send me a flight itinerary and then i go to the airport and it's totally a different story altogether now it's quite interesting to know that not only was jackie Apia, who was also nominated a part of the people who unfortunately were sent back but the host herself jocelyn duma was also a part of the group who unfortunately were sent back basically they told them that we can't find your travel details you cannot be on this flight to lagos well, after telling me that it's an all expense pay trip, why are you now telling me that I have to pay for my tickets before I get a chance to board the plane and go to Nigeria? It's quite interesting. Well, some of the individuals were able to pay for their tickets and go to Nigeria for the event, especially Jackie Apia, because she was an award winner, probably tipped off that she was the one taking the award home. But hey, not everybody had the opportunity to do that. And for Gloria Safo, this was a call out to everyone saying that if they, we, they were a united force, they could have boycotted the event and sent across a much stronger message. But what are your thoughts on that? I mean, how humiliated they have left us, how they have humiliated our brand and Ghana as a whole, the Ghana movie industry. I, I mean, I thought... It was going to be the case. But anyway, like I said, I won't blame them because maybe they had, you know, um, other important um, engagements or, 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 or um, schedules. I mean, plans, businesses that they had already, you know, um, planned for or prepared for or probably something bigger was waiting for them in Nigeria. So I don't I don't. Um, um, I mean, I don't have a problem with them at all. But all that I'm saying includes musicians, includes even the host of the show. Jocelyn Duma was the host of the show. She was the host of the show. Amma Watts. The host of the show was part of the stranded people at the airport. How embarrassing that was and I'm sure you can hear from the passion that is within Gloria Safo's voice how passionate she was about it and how painful the whole experience was for her now guys tell me what your take is on this one Gloria Safo when she was speaking mentioned that even those who paid tickets to go to Nigeria unfortunately did not have the best experience but of course she did not go and she's not the one going to now speak for them or speak on their behalf but it's quite interesting why we keep quiet. I was really appalled to hear about the whole thing. But what even made it further annoying for me was the fact that Gloria Safo mentioned that there were media houses. Media houses were part of them on the Friday morning when they got to the airport. And nothing had been said about it prior to Gloria Safo coming and speaking on live. Well, I'm using my platform to discuss these kind of things, not to bring animosity between two different industries. That is definitely not my goal. My goal is to unite all of us and also highlight things that are going on in the African film industry. This is definitely a matter of concern and that is why I chose to speak about it and not to bring animosity at all. If you know my channel, you know that I support the African film industry with no bias whatsoever but of course i'm based in ghana so definitely most of my information will be skewed towards ghana but still guys this is definitely not to bring any animosity but to shed light on the issue and we hope to hear from the amaa organizers on the, the embarrassment matter. we stood at the airport for hours and everyone we were just so lucky that <laughs> We we went with media people, all right, but you know they were also uh, in uh, found in that state. So I don't know if any of them, you know, was able to capture anything. But it was embarrassing. It was embarrassing. At the end, I'm trying to fair fair no more here on Nigeria. No, it's because they 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 had a plan. They they were they were intentional to have it this way. I ne I get enviable. So what are we doing? It starts with us. It starts with us. 
Ghanaian actor, a year, a movie, on promote You do a movie, you won't promote it. How will people come to the, uh, the, the cinemas? This particular topic that Gloria Safo has just brought up is another story for another day. I'm not going to go into it today. I'll definitely do another video on that. But I have been definitely doing some research on this particular topic. I have a lot to share. So subscribe to the channel if you want to find out more on that. Well, during the live session, there was a man called Mr. Charles who kept commenting during the session and apologizing. But Gloria Safo was very adamant in saying that she wanted a real apology which is an official one straight to everybody who was involved and not on the live session other individuals who joined the live session were Fela Makafui and Victoria Lebene who also chimed in on some experiences that they've had previously there's always two sides to every story we are waiting to hear from the organizers of the AMAA so that they can get to the bottom of what exactly happened and of course an apology official apology is definitely definitely required because it was quite an embarrassing situation for those involved but guys tell me what you think about this particular story in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because i'll definitely be bringing you more and more updates as the story unfolds